All right, welcome back. It is a new day. We have crops to water and fainting to do. We really, really need to get ourselves a better watering can though, because this is tiring. <laughs> And then maybe some like some levels and skills that can also increase our speed to be able to do this stuff. That'd be nice. That would be very, very nice. Uh -huh. Yes, and since the time we were last doing things, it's worth noting that I will have forgotten everyone's voice that I assigned them. So look forward to new voices for the same characters you know and love. Or maybe new voices for the characters that you don't know or don't love. Honestly, it's fine anyway, right? <laughs> all right, there we go. Those are all our crops. We don't have any seeds or in our inventory, which is good. And then we'll go ahead and cut down this tree real quick because, quite frankly, it's in my way. That's it. That's the entire reason. There we go. Perfect. And on to talk to people. We have quest at the town hall and also at the barracks, so. And I do want to spend all our money again. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna own a lot of things. It'll be fine. I don't know how much wheat we have. I might want to buy more wheat just in case. I'll do that. Um, there we go, and then we'll spend some money on just one corn seed, it's, it's not a lot, but I think we'll earn more money. Ah, uh, Anne, hello. What are you staring at? Haven't you seen a classy lady like me before? Alright, looks like we've already talked to her. That makes sense, it's day two, we met her. The people we've met, they won't have new things to say today yet. Resupply mission. You want wheat? I have no wheat, Liam. Sand dollars. I think we can pull that off. Do we have any right now? No? Okay, let's do that. Because we're going to go talk to Lucia anyway. So, pick those up real quick. Alright, and I can double jump. Cool. Wait, these are clams and not sand dollars. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. I don't think we can do that quest I just took. I'm sure it'll be fine. run back the other way. No one, no one needs to know. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything wrong. And I do know we just passed Lucia down there, but it's okay. She's really fast and she's gonna beat us to, to the town hall, even though that makes no sense. Like, she's got it. She'll make it. See, look, she's there. Perfect. Amazing. Yes, so long as the borders of Sunhaven are secure, we can can can. We'll try that one more time, and none of us will. Everyone, really quickly, just erase the last couple seconds of your memory. None of that happened. Okay, ready? Go. Yes, so long as the su borders of Sunhaven are secure, we can continue to keep a watch over the train station. The path to the northern forest should remain closed to the citizens for their own safety. The northern forest- oh, this, this is Bernard. The northern forest must be quite dangerous right now, Captain. 
Are you sure your soldiers are safe? Of course, we've got it all under control. Sunhaven has all the time it needs to figure out its next step. Oh, it's Blaze. What brought you to Town Hall? I was looking for you, Lucia. Is that so? I was just wrapping up a meeting with Bernard and Nathaniel, so I believe I am free to help. Just a moment. Let's meet again on this issue later, shall we? What is it that you need, Blaze? Uh, a baby dragon is causing trouble in the quarry. Oh dear. Is that little dragon still causing rock slides? We were hoping Solon, gruff as he is, would be able to frighten it away. Though, for some reason, it keeps coming back. Huh. I think we could try luring the dragon to the ground where it can be captured and relocated, but we'll need to use some kind of bait. I couldn't help but overhear, yeah? Did you say you were having trouble with little baby dragon? Uh, that's right. Sorry if our conversation interrupted you. Not at all, nya, nya I came here to renew my business license for the pet shop. But I don't need to renew my license until next month, nya. That's okay, because now I think I can help you with your problem. Oh, really, Kitty? It's wonderful to hear. Blaze, meet Kitty. She sells barn animals here in Sunhaven. Town Hall sells permits for barns. Well, you'll have to stop at Kitty's shop for the animals. Nya, yeah, nice to meet you. Anyway, on the subject of your baby dragon... I don't know how much about baby dragons, but I do know they love eating fish. Just like Kitty, yeah? If Kitty was a baby dragon, Kitty would nest in the quarry because it's so close to the ocean. So many yummy fishes in the ocean, yeah? I bet if you had a good juicy fish, you could get it to land right on the ground. Okay, so I just need a fish? Mm, I would say you need an extra, extra juicy fish to attract a baby dragon just to be safe, yeah? The plan is a bit spur of the moment, but it just might work. I believe Peter, our local fisherman, could probably help you out with catching an appropriate fish. You can probably find him at the southern docks right now. <laughs> He'll give me a proper fish and I'll take care of the rest, yeah? Sounds like a plan, yeah? Alright. And as always, we are prioritizing farming levels because... I chose to. And then we're gonna go to the barracks. I know it's um not where we were told to go next, but we're right here. We're so close. We gotta do it. Hello, hello. Farmer, do you have a minute? I'm Rose, a secondary command of the Sunhaven Corps. Sunhaven is safe, but monsters live just outside of town. It's my job to make sure you're prepared for that. Here, take this sword and step up to the dummy. Give it five good whacks to see your technique. All right. Uh, this is, in fact, not the sword. Let me just... Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. I, uh, thank you for shoving that sword right into my pocket, Rosa. I do appreciate it. You're not bad. Not all about strength, though. Speed and agility can be used just as important. Try landing three jump attacks for me. We, yep, jumping, attacking. Perfect, perfect. You're natural with that thing, but I wonder how good you are at a distance. Try shooting the dummy five times with this crossbow. It turns out you can shoot crossbow jump, too. Beautiful work, farmer. It's good to know that some of our citizens can handle themselves in a scrap. Go ahead and keep one of them weapons, but only one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm still gonna do crossbow. Because distance. I like distance. And then we also have Rosa's apples. Uh, thanks for teaching me about combat, Rosa. I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, and thank you for the tome. 
Um, and for a combat level. We're gonna put points into agility. And then we're gonna talk to Rosa again. And combat levels. Yep. Now to the docks. Kitty, actually, that was not Kitty. <laughs> Hi, not Kitty. So that's Peter, but that's not where I need to meet Peter. We need to meet Peter down here. There, eh? You look like you need something from me. Well, what is it? I need help catching a special fish. Oh yeah, what kind of special fish are we talking about? Oh yeah, so why don't you go and catch the fish yourself? Um, I don't have a fishing rod. You mean you don't have a fishing rod? Heck, take my old one. Fishing is really easy. Just use your rod like any other tool. When you spy the shapes of fish. Okay, this is a tutorial. I'm not gonna read the tutorial, I'm sorry. Have a fishing rod? Thanks, thanks. Uh, Alright, and he's gonna fish for us. Perfect. Uh, Peter? Uh. Uh, this guy again? I wasn't fishing for you. Get off of my line! Sorry, Blaze. This may be a little bit too big and juicy for a single baby dragon. Put it back! Put it back! <laughs> alright, alright. Hold your horse, fish. Let's try that again. Here we go. These chunky rippers are nice and fatty. Not too agreeable with most people's taste, but I bet your baby dragon couldn't resist it if it tried. Here you go. Thanks a lot for the chunky grouper. And we're now proud owners. A fishing pole. Just gonna real quick do that. And we also have more money, so I'm gonna spend more of our money on corn. Because we're we're working on slowly, slowly growing all the stuff. And just hoping that somehow things work out. It seems like a pretty good method to me, for our money. Just buy the stuff, hope things work out. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Only time will tell. Wait, no, corn is here. I would like some corn seeds, please. Right, now is the last corn seed. Um. Okay. That's, that's how leaving rooms is supposed to go. Definitely, definitely. And we'll pop in here. Hello, Emmett. What are you selling? Lots of things. Okay. Um. You have a hundred. Is anything worth exactly 130? No. Okay. We'll buy a kale. And there goes our money. So long, farewell, goodbye, money. Kitty is to the right. Perfect. There she is. Hello. 
Logan, do I smell a big tasty fish in your pack? <laughs> Just hand it here and I'll make it into some yummy baby dragon food, yeah? Just visit me tomorrow, okay? I'll have some yummy baby dragon food prepared for you then. Uh, sounds good. Farming experience. Perfect. So we can visit Kitty tomorrow, which means we have the rest of today to... Um, well, first off, we're going to spend the rest of our money real quick. We just bought a kale. We might buy one more. I don't know. Uh, but we'll prioritize first planting everything that we have. I'm back. What are you selling? We'll buy another kale. That's fine. Two kale. going into flower farm actually um, put all our seeds in these pockets meat first and then corns come on Oh, is that chest in my way? Well, that's tragic. Is that? No, there's nothing there. Alright. Can I get everything from that chest in my inventory? Because we can move this chest. We don't need it to be right there. Yeah, we can take everything here. And then plant the seed here. And it's like it was intentional. Actually, put that right here. Perfect. And then our crafting table. I might, yeah, we'll put it right there. And then, like, one day we might make a path that goes along here. I don't know. But for now, it's good. All is well. For the rest of our day, I might see if we can't get ourselves into the mine. I don't know if we can or not. I have i don't know that I've particularly tried to get into the mine before uh, dealing with the baby dragon before. It probably is fine. And I think for our... Um, usage of the mine. I'm going to prioritize first the pickaxe because, well, quite frankly, digging is always faster if you have a nicer pickaxe, really. And then after the pickaxe, it will be the watering can because we're a farmer. And here is our copper ore. Fabulous. 
grab all the copper ore that we can. Right here we have a nice little gem. Sapphire, perfect. And it looks like we're gonna have a decent bit of money to see how much we get charged with by the time we pass out tonight. And there's our key. Since there's no more copper here, always nice to move on. Oh, except for this one right here. Once they look like this, they're coal. And we're gonna need lots of coal later, so I'm gonna grab that. Here's our rest of the key. To the next floor. And I do want to make sure to grab the coal here as well. So, copper. And... Coal. While we're mining, because we're just going to do this for the rest of the day until we pass out, I'll take this moment to remind you all that the YouTube algorithm allows when people leave likes and comments. It makes the algorithm think that this video is important. So, you want to help the algorithm think that this video is important? Go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment. We're going to see if we can't get this um, bonus money per day. And fool the algorithm. Because it never knows what's actually important, it just knows what's interacted with. Or if you don't want to leave a like, Maybe you don't like this video. You know, leave a dislike. That's still an interaction. Yeah, I said that. Leave a dislike if you don't want to like this video. Do it. Um, as terrible as it is, unless YouTube changes its algorithm, it's worth more to have a dislike than to have no interaction on a video. So, either way, thank you for interacting with my video. Ooh, a black diamond. Nice. And now we're just going to keep breaking these rocks in hope of finding a rusty key. Because then we can get to the next floor where there will be more ores. Maybe some coal. Just generally more things to find. Also, very quickly, this is for my own sake because I always lose track of if I actually have the key in my inventory or not. When I'm going through the mines, I like to put my items out of my hotbar so that the keys will just show right up in my inventory. So one of the things about this mine is that to permanently get to further levels, you can use keys made out of the ores that are found in the levels that the mine contains. Um, so, although I would absolutely love to have a copper axe, I'm thinking I'm going to do things in the order through the mines so that I do the pickaxe, the watering can, then all the keys, and then the axe. Um, because we'll still continue to find ores for lower levels at higher levels. Especially copper is all throughout the mines from what I've seen. Um, so, we'll do things in that way to really maximize the amount of resources we can hopefully gain by mining. And it is close to the end of the day. I don't know if we're going to be able to break through very many of these copper ores, but we'll try. And I will never say no to a level. And yeah, we'll do one more level of savings and then we'll start making it so that ores can drop sapphires. Just because free sapphires are still free sapphires. And who am I to say no to that? Okay, there's no way we're gonna 
break that in time, so we'll go down here. And there we go, you passed out. So we have 130 gold right now. And that is saying it's charging us 300 gold. We do not own 300 gold. The question is, do we earn money after the fact? This is saying, um, side hustles. So we should have gotten 30 gold from selling our fences. Um, negative 20 gold. All right, now we know. We are never going to be owning money in this world. I mean, maybe we will be, but we can't buy anything today. It lets us go into the negative. We don't own a bed. This will be quite the adventure we have ahead of us. We'll take this moment, we'll talk to Warnheart, we'll get ourselves back to the farm, and then we'll go on from there. Hey neighbor, I'm Dr. Warnhart. You look plenty healthy to me, but come see me if you're feeling under the weather. Well, thanks, I'm Blaze. Glad to meet you, doctor. You can call me Warnhart if you don't want to call me doctor, but really, I don't mind either way. See ya. Alright. Yes, this... I've set out on something far more intimidating than I had anticipated, but I am excited by the concept that we can go into the negative for our money. Most games, they stop you at zero. This one very clearly is not doing that. So, we've we've got a lot of things ahead of us. Oh, and we have a cutscene. Hey, who's that coming down the road to your farm? Uh-oh, it's the merchant lady again. Uh, hey there, Anne. Hey there, Blaze. Don't get so flustered. I actually dropped by to give you a little something. Uh, really? What are you giving me? Maybe you and I got off on the wrong foot the other day. I admit that sometimes I may be a bit too eager to score a sale. Um, you know what? Don't worry, I needed the tools and you sold them to me. Hey, I said I can be eager to make a sale. I didn't say I made bad sales. Alright, fair enough. Let me make up any bad blood between us. I want to give you this basic furniture table. Just like your crafting table, only it's designed especially for making, you guessed it, furniture. Oh. Oh wow, thanks. Don't thank me. I know this basic furniture table is going to someone who knows how to use it. Just keep in mind, it's a little more expensive to build furniture at this table compared to buying at the general store. But that's the price of convenience. Just consider this a little gift of mine to be the start of our beautiful friendship, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on to you. <laughs> Alright. Um. Do I have... Like, there's no reason to sell anything. You know? We don't... Just... Plop down, I guess, our furniture table. Right... Right down here. These rocks. Perfect. And then we'll plant this. And I think we will call it a day here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time as we flounder our way through this world where money may never see the inside of our pockets. Bye bye.